Hi, welcome back to Twisted Stitches. My name is Tammy. How is everybody doing? Hope everybody's doing really well. So today is day five of our yarn advent calendar that I bought from Felicity Yarn Studios, Miss Zoe. Uh, she has some beautiful yarns. Um, like I said, today is day five and today's yarn, her colors and her inspiration is from another Monet painting. As you remember, as you recall in her little note that she included with our very first day's unboxing that I read to you, she stated that Monet is very heavily featured in her work that she did in this advent, among others, but Monet is very heavily featured. So you may see in these unboxings many of Monet's paintings that she took inspiration from. And today is no exception. We have, let me show you the, hold on one second. Here is, I want to make sure you guys can really see this. This particular painting is called The Artist's Garden at Giverny. Giverny, I believe I'm saying that right. It is done by Claude Monet, and it was done in 1900. Is that beautiful or what? Can you guys see that? I hope I'm getting a good shot of that for you guys. Because I realized in a couple of my other videos, maybe you didn't get a real good look at the painting. Look at that, gorgeous. Oh, that is just gorgeous. As a matter of fact, in France, in Giverny, France, or in the town, I believe it's a town of Giverny. I looked it up and I looked it up a couple of days ago. There is actually um, where you can do tours and you can sit at this garden area and see this today. Um, as a matter of fact, I believe on the website it stated that from April 1st to November 1st, it's open to the public and you could do tours of this garden where Claude Monet took his inspiration from and where he got his, um, where he sat and did his painting. So, I mean, come on, would that not be amazing? First of all, to go to Paris or to go to France. That would be uh, uh, wonderful, amazing, but also to see exactly where the this wonderful artist sat and just to see this and to be able to actually see it real live. I mean, tell me that's not a bucket list. It is for me anyway. So anyway, let's get on with the yarn. Like I said, today is day five. Here is day five. As you see, it's on the little package. Let's open this up. Oh, I am so excited. Oh, there's something in here. Oh, there's a little tea in here. Ooh, I don't know how to say this. Tazo, I don't know if I'm saying that right. Awake English breakfast. Yes, Definitely for me, I need to be awake. I could use some of this right now. As a matter of fact, I may drink this later on. <laughs> I am a, I drink tea at night too. I'm one of those people, I don't know about you guys. I, I know I shouldn't be doing this, but I drink tea. I can drink tea and coffee and I can literally fall asleep with the tea and or coffee sitting in my lap in the nighttime. So it doesn't affect me like that. I want it in the morning to wake up but I can drink it at night and fall right to sleep. It doesn't affect me like that. So anyway, let's see. Oh, let's. Oh, it is so pretty. Oh, yes, this is very, very beautiful. Look at those beautiful colors, guys. Look, look, look. And I will bring up the painting again. Definitely. Oops. Don't blow out. Don't blow out. These are coming up really true to what I see. So as long as I, for whatever reason, stick my face in the shot, my camera will allow it to come up pretty okay and not blow out too badly. So this is the beautiful colors on this Hank or this little mini skein of yarn for today, December 5th. Let me get to, so let's get back to the painting. And the beautiful hank of yarn, oh, right? 
See those beautiful lilacs and purples and the light greens and even the mossy green and brown that you can see in this. It is gorgeous. Gorgeous. What do you think, guys? What do you think? Number five. So this was Capturing Color and Light 2020 Advent from Felicity Yarn Studios, day five. So you guys, I hope everybody's staying safe, staying safe, staying healthy, and definitely staying creative. I will talk to you guys very, very soon. Bye.